Hi, my name is Atemi Oyungu. I am a singer-songwriter from Nairobi, Kenya, and this is the other side of me. Yay! Yay! Uh, my genre of music is, it, you know, there's a lot of things in there. There's neo soul, uh, there is what people call Afro music, there's some jazz, there's some Afro pop. But I think when you put it all together, it's fusion music because that's what fusion is putting together different elements of different sounds. And we say Afro fusion because we use this, I use the Swahili language, and some songs I use different African languages. Um, my favorite artist in Kenya is Sage. I think she's such a fantastic singer. She has this thing. Every time I hear her sing a song, a new song she's written, I'm like, why didn't I write that song? What have I been doing all my life? And I really love her, right? And then again, internationally, my taste is so weird because I like Beyonce and Kirk Franklin equally. Guys are always like, how? I'm like, those are my best, leave me. I do, I still get stage fright sometimes. Um, mostly when I feel like it's going to be a performance that is going to determine something or define something. People expect, you know, me to get stage fright at the biggest shows and I'm like, most of the times it's when I'm in a place where the people who buy my music, the people who listen to me, who like my songs on YouTube are there. I come from a musical family, so we have been singing since we were really little. My mom was a choir mistress. Uh, my dad was a reverend, so he would play guitar, and my mom and her three children would sing. We always said she had three children, so everyone could take one voice, <laughs> each voice, and back her. So I've been singing since, and this is singing on stage, since I was nine or ten. I, I, I went to the United States International University, which is just a fancy way of saying USIU and I studied marketing and Spanish. I cannot remember any Spanish, but <laughs> I do a lot of things with my marketing degree. I'm an event planner. I have two festivals that I direct every year, right? One is Blissful Fusion, which is at Easter, and one is to the season, which is at Christmas. I am addicted to entertainment. I don't think I can explain it to you. I need to be entertained every second. Sitting, in fact, sometimes I'm like, you need to sit quiet. You know that you tell children, sit and, sit, sit and be quiet. Sometimes I have to say to myself that because I need to be entertained. In the car, I want to listen to music. If there was a way I could drive and play games, I would, right? But the thing that I am most interested in is series. I love cooking. I love it. In fact, my, okay, my mom says, you like cooking because you like eating. I'm like, maybe okay so sometimes it's what am i going to what does my mouth want and i'm just thinking of different ideas in the kitchen and sometimes my you know my friends are over and they're like give us the recipe and i'm like i don't know what i did <laughs> what are you asking me atemi is a paradox atemi is sanguine and melancholic at the same time i will i am tough as nails i will do everything that i need to do i will not cry and then i will watch toy story 3 and cry through the whole thing and call my sister oh my god what is that she's like what's wrong it's a program so one time i called her and i was telling her about this thing and she's like oh my god he died and i was like yeah on the show she's the she's like you've made me spend this time talking to you about someone who died on your like i can't i just can't I find inspiration from so many different things, from everything, from everybody. I wrote a song about Nairobi because one person said something to me about Nairobi and then my mom said something to me in Luya and I was like, I'm gonna write a Nairobi song in Luya. That's what's gonna happen. You know, I will see something that Tiwa Savage did and a, a, a kind of style she has and I'm like, I want that, but then I wanna mix it with something from Jill Scott. You know, and then I'm gonna take this thing and put a little flavor touch on it, you know, but still I wanted to feel like Yolanda, <laughs> you know. I would definitely say that I am a clothes person. So what I say to my, so now when I travel, I have a rule though, it is I can only buy things that I love. So if I kind of like it, I'll try it on and it fits. I'm not going to buy it. It needs to be, I love this and I need it in my wardrobe right now. Everything you do matters. Don't be doing these things thinking you're just going to run off into the night. <laughs> and your decisions at 21 are not going to matter later. They are. Um, my two greatest life lessons are, number one, only do it if you love it. You know, people talk about it all the time. They're like, well, you know, if you love your job, 
then it's gonna be a labor of love. That's a lie, okay? Everything that is worth doing is hard. So the only way you persevere through this hard thing is if you love it. So do the thing that you love. And finding the thing that you love is finding purpose. And purpose is where the thing that you love means meets the thing that you're good at. Because you could love singing and you're bad. Don't do it, okay? You need to love it and then you need to be good at it and you put that together and that's purpose. So I think for me that was my biggest life lesson. And the second I learned was be kind. It, 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 it's, life is it's hard out there, you know, and it's not hard for you to just take a deep breath and be like, let's not shout at the watchman. <laughs> so thank you guys for hanging out with me on the other side of me. I've had such a great time talking to you right here from the Karen Country Lodge. Ah! Anyway, so you can catch the show on Malkia Network on YouTube. Check out their channel. See you next time.